by training, but pretty early in my research career, I realized that I'm not really uh, built for bench work and decided to pursue a career in scientific publication. At first, I worked um, in the journal Code Genome Biology when I was a manuscript handling editor. And in 2016, I moved to scientific reports. Um, scientific reports um, really attracted me as a journal because of the breadth of the areas that it covers. Uh, but also with its mission um, of offering a, a home for all research that's valid and scientifically robust. As the chief editor, I manage uh, a team of uh, over 20 in-house editors uh, and collectively we oversee um, decision-making and peer review processes uh, on the journal. We also provide support for our external editorial board. The true heart and soul of the journal uh, is our editorial board members, who are all active researchers um, and who serve as academic editors on the journal. It is them who evaluate submissions for their merits, who administer peer review, and who make decisions on, on whether papers fulfill the criteria for publication. Uh, our in-house team, on the other hand, is focused on other projects designed to deliver excellent author service, such as ensuring that the processing times of the papers are fast, uh, without compromising rigor of the peer review. Uh, I do enjoy that the job is uh, very versatile uh, and incredibly uh, intellectually stim stimulating. A big part of what makes it a real joy is really working with a large team of uh, very smart, very talented internal and external editors. Um, and the fact that we share the same mission um, of you know, creating a journal that um, is a very inclusive space for a lot of authors, but at the same time um, is trusted and respected by the readers, I think this is something that really gets me going. We publish all original research in natural and clinical sciences, uh, as well as engineering and also behavioral sciences. Uh, we try to take the subjective um, out of the assessment of papers. This means that we do not judge submission based on perceived impact or interest uh, around the results. Uh, and instead, our rigorous peer review process uh, focuses on the, the validity of methods uh, and, and the findings. Uh, what this means for the papers is that they need to provide original contribution uh, to the field. Uh, they need to put uh, the research in the context of the, of the existing body of knowledge. They need to use uh, experimental and an outcome methods that are robust and then correctly applied. Uh, and finally, the, the conclusions that are made should be based on the data and the, the evidence uh, available. Readers um, sometimes assume that the inclusive ethos of the journal and quite high acceptance rates uh, mean that we publish anything that we receive. Um, that couldn't be further from the truth, and I think it may be perhaps a bit odd to consider, uh, but publishing research that's scientifically valid and robust uh, is already a fairly high bar. Um, we ensure that the papers that are accepted for publication meet that bar uh, by implementing a rigorous and robust peer review process and are very much assisted in that by our expert uh, external editors. Before you even consider submission uh, of a paper to the journal, it is worth thinking about what the best practices and uh, standards in your field uh, are. Um, this will help you ensure that you report the methods and the results uh, of your research in a way that's transparent, and will really set you up for the submission to the journal. Once you start the submission, um, it is worth looking up the guidelines for the authors as well as the editor policies um, to make sure that um, you are compliant with them uh, where needed. Uh, in terms of the content, um, it is important to make sure that whatever you report, you report transparently and that any conclusions that you make are not oversold. Uh, I would also add that it is very important to look at your title and the abstract. Uh, because these are the first elements that any reader will see uh, about your paper uh, and so making sure that they convey the main findings and the main message of your paper uh, is quite important. Career in academic publishing is something that tends to attract people who are passionate about science but also ready to leave the bench. 
One of the key skills that is required for the job is the ability to critically read and evaluate research. Knowledge of peer review is also beneficial. If you haven't considered it before, uh, taking part in the journal club is something that would be well worth doing, um, as it will help you expand on the required skill set. You have to bear in mind though that this is a major career change, and so the learning curve is going to be steep, and it will require high resilience from you, as well as good time management skills. Thank you.